Welcome to Russ America Cruel Intent, where later tonight there are some cruel intentions in mind as the Atrocity Cruel will go one on one against Fry Daddy. And also later tonight, the monster Mike Payne and the Warden will go one on one in a special Fans Bring the Weapons match. It's going to be chaotic, but right now we need to go out to General Manager Ben Masters. I want to bring out a man that says he is nine tenths of the Russell America champion. Let's bring out Simi Suave. You know, CB, I'm from the old school. In the old school, you had to beat somebody to be a champion. In the old school, huh? That's Dominique's belt. That's Dominique's belt. Well, in the old days, possession was not intense in the law, was it not? In the new days, Possession is nine tenths of the law, right? Well, CB Suave is still holding this Wrestle America Heavyweight title. So I guess I'm still nine tenths Wrestle America Heavyweight Champion. But who have you beaten? Who have I beaten? Let me tell you something. I've done more for this Wrestle America belt than Dominic Stucky could ever imagine. We're talking about Mr. Wrestle America, right? Mr. WrestleMerica, I took this to Mucha Lucha. I took this to Disruptor. I took this to Platinum Championship Wrestling. That's Dominic's belt. He ain't done nothing. Well, there will be a triple threat match tonight in the main event. For that belt, we'll see if you can back it up with two men. You know, there's another man wants that belt, too. What I got to say about CT Keys? Y'all need to know something about me and C.T. Keys. I train C.T. Keys. He wants to be like me. He's always wanted to be like me. And tonight's not going to be any different. He's going to want to be just like me, the WrestleMerica Heavyweight Champion. Well, Sidney Suave claims he's nine-tenths of the champion. We'll find out how long you keep that title in your possession, sir. I got a feeling it won't be very long. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you're nine tenths of the Russell America heavyweight champion, CB. Uh, CB, you might want to look behind you. I don't think those cheers are for you, man. Oh, Dominic Stuckey, not wanting to wait until the triple threat later tonight. Taking a fight to CB. CB who stole the championship away from Dominic Stuckey. Oh, what a super kick laid CB out. Dominic Stuckey back in possession of his Russell America title. Oh, look out now. CT Keys from behind. Oh, CT has Dominic up. Dominic slips out a super kick to CT. And in the process, CD has high tilted with the belts again. Well, it will be a triple threat later tonight. Dominic Stuckey will defend the Russell America Championship against C.B. Suave and C.T. Keys. Yeah, we cannot wait for that. I know you can't wait, Bob. These guys all hate each other, and it's going to be pandemonium. Who will go out as the real champion, Bob? And we will find out later tonight, C.B attacking Dominique in the parking lot a couple of months ago to take the belt and then losing to CT Keys last month. 
to get him included in this matchup right now. The thoroughbred, Anthony Andrews, on his way out to the ring. You ride a horse? Ride a cowboy. Yeah. Yeehaw. All the way from Texas. <laughs> there he is. Nah, I love, I love Anthony. Always good to see him in the building. <laughs> Anthony coming in to deal with a little bit of a issue of a prior friend, an old teammate. Uh, you could say that. You could say that. They were definitely best friends, more now common enemies. <laughs> and yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Nice jacket. His opponent, Luca Daniels, and, and we got a memo from Susan. Michael <laughs> Stevens wants to be referred to as the father figure. Well, I mean, he is the father figure of Luca Daniels. And Luca Daniels wants to be known as Jack AF. So who's Jack? I, I don't know. Did he steal that jacket from your closet? No, that no, That looks like no. something you would wear. No, I've got taste. He's got no pizzazz. You would think his dad would teach him how to dress, but you see how he's dressed. Sorry, his father figure. <laughs> Sorry, Susan. Luca Daniels is on this vendetta tour trying to avenge all of the people that have done his quote-unquote father <laughs> wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> He should have looked at his designer. <laughs> now turning his attention away from Drew Adler to now Anthony Andrews. I mean, that's no easy feat. I mean, Anthony Andrews is a thoroughbred. He is road tested. Oh, oh you do not. Oh. Oh. There's a bell. We're underway, Luca. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ducky the punch and ate a DDT instead. Cover. Luke is able to kick out. You do not kick a cowboy's hat off. That's like spitting in his face. Oh, oh. Luca eating a right. Now eating a turnbuckle. I'm trying to figure out why Luca Daniels. Oh, boot to the face. You can now say he's glazed AF. <laughs> he's Krispy Kreme. Yeah. Why Luca Daniels would want to pick a fight with Anthony Andrews, a star from the NWA. Oh, look out now. Oh! Well, I mean, he's delusional. He's delusional as his father figure. You know, Michael Stevens is a delusional person. He's got self-entitlement, and that's how he's taught. Oh, come on, oh. come on. Look at that. Like I said, just delusions of grandeur is what Michael Stevens has, and he's passed that on to Luca, AF, whatever you want to call him, Jack AF. It's just nothing is right with that family. Oh, and look at Stevens again, a cheap attack. Oh! Yeah. He just cut down a tree. More like a twig. Fair point. Oh, we could Ooh. try to return the favor. We're trying to be the Atlanta Braves here. <laughs> nice senton. Cover now. I'm gonna kick out just in one. That's, that senton's not going to keep the thoroughbred down. I'll give you that. Well, you got to watch out for Stevens again. Oh, look at him. Just messing with him. Oh, cleaning off his glasses. Well, he's got to be able to see. There's not even a prescription. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. But I mean, he went to Dr. Johnny Gayton. <laughs> Now Luca try to go after the legs, try to chop down the thoroughbred. I mean, that's how you beat. That's how you take down someone who's bigger than you. 
you chop them down mentally and physically as much as you can. And that's where you can just attack him. He's like a shark with blood in the water. He's going to go after him as much as he can once he gets him chopped down. Oh, and doing that helps his case more. Uh, the old saying is, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. When he's fallen, it's harder to get back up. And look at the berating that Michael Stevens is giving his former friend. And this all stems back to a match that Michael Stevens had with Ty Sedin, where all of his former partners came back to basically assist Tyson. Partners that at one time or another, Michael Stevens had done wrong. So a lot of people said he had it coming. He did. So now Luca Daniels has taken it upon himself to call each of them out. Yeah, Face that, to the knee. That's not been going too good for him as of late. But he's trying to do his Papa Proud. That's what he's trying to do. Anthony Post on that second row. Ooh. Cover. Oh. Stevens pulling Luca out. Be careful with that knee. Luca thrown back into the ring and watch again. Marv grabbing the leg, causing a distraction momentarily. Oh, and a pile driver. Ooh. That might do it. One, two, and a kick out at two. That's, that could have easily been a three, and Luca, you can just see him just wondering why that wasn't a three. Anthony back up. Had Luke up for a second. Oh, plants it center of the ring. Cover one, two, three. Luca Daniels with a big upset. I'll do it, I'll do it better. And the winner of the match, Jack AF, Luca Daniels. Now, Anthony. Every time you come to town, I text you the same offer. I text you the same offer as that we don't have to do this dance each visit. You could just join us, but you like to learn the hard way, so we're just going to finish it. They're going to finish it. Oh, where, where are you going? Well, Ryan just took off running. And now Michael Stevens to Luca Daniels. Hold on there, hold on there. Hey, Drew might not be here, but I got someone that is. Encore, Zach Edwards! Get out Zach Edwards is here. Zach Edwards full steam ahead. Taking down Luca Daniels. Raining punches down. I didn't even know Zach was here. Oh, now, double team by Luca. Oh, Daddy to the save. Pulling Luca out. Thank God for Zach Edwards. So you know what? Uncle Zach's gonna take your ass to the whipping shed May 11th. And Marv, I know you might not be able to wrestle right now. And Anthony, I know you won't be there. But I am perfectly fine going one-on-one -on -one with Luca Daniels. Yeah. How about that? May 11th? Challenges are on. No. Nice try, Zach. But we're not getting this medal. No! no! Zach Edwards, you piece of crap! I said! Luca Daniels accepts. I don't, I, Michael Stevens didn't want Luca 
to be involved with with Zach, but Luca cut him off and said that he would take the match next month. Encore Zach Edwards and Luca Daniels. Zach Edwards is back. It's time for tag team action now. Yes. Austin Towers and Trevor Eon, left hand path. I know you like tag team action, Bob. You're the you're the second coming of Teddy Long making tag team matches. <laughs> Last month, left hand path had a championship chance match against Damaging. They won the first fall, which restarted the match to be a championship match. But then, using a loophole in the rules that was somehow enforced by their legal counsel, Susan. Darn you, Susan. The left-hand path was, I guess you say, retroactively disqualified, allowing Damage Inc. to still be champions. So this time around, it is going to be no rules. A Texas Tornado match for the tag team titles. And I love those kind of rules. Those are the best rules, because that means anyone can be in the ring at one time. It doesn't matter. Just think of it like a, uh, like a fatal four-way for the tag division. And this is, oh. Uh, this is your favorite squad right here, isn't it? I wouldn't say that. Oh, come on. You know you love them. Caleb Scott, Paul Wolf, Damage Inc. They won those tag titles at a tournament back in December. And oftentimes have refused to defend them straight up. Instead, forcing teams to go through these chance matches. That's just the weirdest rule, but it's something that was written into the contract, so we can't not. We've got to talk to our legal team. That they're we need to hire Susan. The fact that they <laughs> get allowed so many stipulations into their contracts. And, and it's all a part of Michael Stevens. Of course. This, this is all his doing, the father figure. Jeez. See the bust that they came in? Yeah. Oh, I was gaudy. And short. Yeah. They gave me a tour. I was out in like one second. Well, in a match like this now, no rules, no counts, no disqualifications. There, there's no loopholes that damage he could use now. If they lose this match, they lose titles. There, there's no way out of this one. This will be interesting for sure. This isn't a chance match. This is just a straight up match. This is for the titles right away. And right there, Austin Towers, the right man in the middle, he is no stranger to championships. The chief former Wrestle America champion. Don't think the fans here at Forsyth are Damage Inc. fans. Not many people are. They're not fans of the business. No, no. The business has not been given to them. Now there, that's how you get the crowd on your side. Damage Inc. finally handing over the belts to our official Anthony. Looks like they're about to go take them. There they are, the tag team champion belts. There's the Bella quickly, Damage Inc. out to the floor. This is, this is going to have to take some cunning. This is going to have to take some strategy because they clearly will not be able to out oh. oh, look out. Trevor up and over the top, wiping out both <laughs> members of Damage Inc. 
I was going to say they're not going to be able to outmuscle this team right here, but maybe even speed wise they won't be able to either. And with there being no count outs, there's no running away. You're going to have to man up and fight this time. This is going to be fun. This is going to be brutal. The intent is there. It's going to be cruel. Seems to be a theme of the night. Hmm. Interesting. Caleb and Trevor fighting. Practically in the laps of our fans here ringside. Ah, Vita likes it. Then on the other side, you got Paul Wolf and Austin Towers. <laughs> The Chief. Oh, a fan just put his boot up. <laughs> well, his sandal up. He's got a sandal or a flip-flop? That's a flip-flop. Thank God he didn't have Crocs. That would have bit him. Oh! Left-hand path getting the fans at ringside involved. Dogs are howling. And you see the fans sitting around ringside with their weapons for Payne and Ward later on. As oh, Towers yeah. and Wolf are in the are in the stands now. Hey, they're they're giving everyone a good view. Anyone gets to see this is gonna enjoy it. Oh! There we go. Are... <laughs> now that was a sandal. That was a sandal too, huh? <laughs> oh! Jeez, uh oh. That's a broomstick. Time, time to clean up. God. Oh, yeah, it's hard to keep up with this action right here. <laughs> Wolf making it, trying to make his way back to the ringside, but Towers not letting up. I mean, that's the smartest thing to do. Do not let up. Go at it. Beat these guys down. Wolf, oh, right to the eyes. All legal. Oh, a boot to the face. Now, oh, measuring up the Chief. Oh, big wind up. Oh, the uppercut. Oh. <laughs> Caleb Scott this, hitting this, the floor hard. This is just utter madness right now. <laughs> Again, this is a no rules Texas Tornado match for the Tag Team Championships. Now they got Caleb Scott stuck in the middle. We got a good volley going on over here. It's not time for Wimbledon yet, but they had a good volley going. Damaging looks like a team that would love pickleball. Oh! oh. I've never seen an actual pickleball. Oh! Now left-hand path with Paul Wolf in the ring. A huge sidewalk slam cover. One, two. And Wolf able to barely kick out. That took a lot of mustard for him to actually get that. No relish on that. Oh, went for a big kick. Ooh. Caleb was able to pull the rope down. Oh. And he's going to pay for that one. He pulled the rope down, but then he got pulled down. <laughs> Suplex by Paul Wolf in the ring. Cover now. A quick kick out at one. While well, Towers is still out on the floor with Caleb Scott. We've had more action out of the ring than inside. What oh. in the world? That looked like a move out of a fighting game. 
Well, he does pattern his style after those kind of things. He watches a lot of anime. He hit the right button combo. Yeah. BBA. Oh. Paul Wolf pushing Trevor into towers. Now both members damage Inc. in the ring. Cover. A kick out of two. You would think a match type like this would actually favor Damage Inc. With their double team antics that they like to do. Yeah, they like to they like to go after they like to oh. do the two on one, but this man right here is a two person man anyway. Towers getting back into the ring. Wiping out both members of Damage Inc. Towers is feeling it. <laughs> Back and forth with those uppercuts. Oh! Playing Scott. And a huge bicycle kick to Paul Wolf. Cover one, two. Oh. And Caleb just there in time to break up the count. Looking for him too, because I know Austin almost tasted that gold. He was ready for more gold here in Wrestle America. And just from Caleb Scott messing with him right there, but he is ready. You see the arm is raised. That means nothing but trouble for Paul Wolf. Uh-oh. Oh. Scott has one of the belts. Oh, but he got caught. Oh, and a low blow. Completely legal. But he still has a hold of Scott. Oh, and another low blow. This side by Paul Wolf. Oh, and a double arm DDT onto the belt. Cover. One, two. And Trevor Aon breaking up the pin. They just DDT towers onto that belt. Now his partner having to fight both men off himself. And that would have been it for Austin Towers. He was not going to get out of that. Thank God for oh. Trevor right there. And look at Caleb holding oh. the leg. Super kick. Oh. That might do it. One, two, three. Oh. Damage Inc. successfully defending their tag team championships. I mean, good on them. I'm. They had to pull out every bag in the trick, every trick out of the bag, just to get this win. And you have to do that when you got someone with the presence of Trevor Aon and Austin Towers in the ring with you. Clearly, their toughest battle since becoming champions. I mean, look at them. They're, they're exhausted. I'm that, sure I'm sure Susan and the father figure will be happy. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're... they're oh, I hear the, the cork popping now. Make sure Luca doesn't get any. I don't think he's of age. <laughs> Damage Inc. Still your tag team champions. Mm. Oh. This guy. Yeah. Fry Daddy, the king of the VIPs. On his way to the ring. When you talk about an attitude change, Fry Daddy has made a complete 180. I, you know, and he's just, he's always saying he's tired of being disrespected, looked over and everything else. But in my view, he's never been that. He's always been the pedestal of Wrestle America. But with this new attitude, 
how do you expect the people to keep you on that pedestal if you're going to be, excuse my language, a jackass? Yo, 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 ain't I supposed to have an interview? Ain't somebody supposed to be out here? Oh, I, hey, I get paid to be out here. You get paid to be quiet. So, hey, matter of fact, since you right here, you come right here, Mr. Referee. I want you to hold this mic for me. Thank you very much. I know. I do. I do. I do very good, too. So, hey, doesn't the landscape look a little different around here? Where's your boy at? Where is Mr. Retired? Because I said I was going to do it. And I did it exactly what I said. I make guarantees and I always finish them. So, as I seen out here earlier tonight, as you seen, Ryan North was out here, right? Hey, oh, you really going to care about this one. Because next month's flavor, next month's flavor is your little boy, One Up Drew Adler. So, I'm sure about that, sweetheart. Are you sure about that? Yeah, 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 not tonight. So, without further ado, please bring out the match villain, Cool, for tonight's flavor. Will you hello hello Ooh. goodness the atrocity cool the IWTV champion <laughs> oh. he's a scary looking guy I I, I walked by him and I felt my soul leave my body for a second. He puts that kind of fear in you. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm just no. Oof. I I am not the biggest fan of Fry Daddy right now, especially after him calling stuff out and saying that he's got Drew next month, but I kind of fear for Fry on this one. <laughs> it's just not going to be pretty. <laughs> Same time, I think he needs his attitude adjusted, so this might be the right punishment. <laughs> the atrocity cruel has been making a statement the last several years across the country, destroying almost everyone in his path. been putting fear into men everywhere he goes. Yes. And he is a man of extremely few words. <laughs> Unlike Fry Daddy right there who can't shut up. He's emotionless. He's just standing there. Oh. It's probably the smartest thing Fry's done in a long time. Mm. Just, oh my god. It's just the stare. And now he's being stalked. Yeah, it's it's for real, Fry. Go ahead, VIP, get in there. I think he's starting to think of life's choices right now. I believe this is what you call karma. Oh, Fry Daddy trying to take the fight to Cruel and Cruel. Oh, this might be over quick. <laughs> Cruel just swatting him away. 
He's, he's battle-tested, battle-worn. Fry might have some muscles, but you can't do damage to that. Oh, a chop to cool. Another, and no reaction. Oh. Oh. Fry fighting out of the choke slam. Fry off the ropes. Oh, my goodness. I've heard a sweep in the leg, but that was incredible. Fry is in a whole world of his own right now. I'm not sure what's going on. The, the flavor of the week is dismantling him. For a big man, he's quicker than a hiccup. <laughs> exactly right. Fry pulling the rope down, cruel out onto the apron. Up. Oh. Fry basically is in a fight for his life. Ooh. Oh. Nothing. I don't think he feels anything. He doesn't. Oh! 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 My God! That's a face you bring home to mom. Wolf. <laughs> oh, now Cruel putting Fry on display. Who's he calling for? Call for a kid here at ringside. Letting one of the fans here get a piece of him. Oh. Oh! A boot to the midsection of Fry. Oh. Just take your Fry around, let the fans have a piece of him. Oh! God. This, this shows how the fans feel about Fry. They do not care for his attitude. And these fans will show you exactly how they feel. Oh. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful, John. Oh, Fry off the post. And if you've never seen a cool match, this is just a sample of what he's capable of. Oh, he's... Not gonna say the pun. <laughs> He's devastating. <laughs> He's intense. Oh! He doesn't care what he does to you. I've seen him in matches where there's no ropes, there's just chains at ringside. Oh my God. Oh! I've seen him go through glass, I've seen him go through tacks. That's just... And he gets right back up. He's a sadistic monster. You don't mess with... Uh-oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fry's got a chair. Nope. Blocks the shot. Oh! <laughs> I think he's made him angry. Oh. He's got through the chairs at ringside, I think. And now Cruel yelling at the ref to stop counting. And if I was John, I think I'd listen. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be the one that counted him out. We're not even halfway through the show yet. Yeah, the fans... And, whoa, watch whoa. out, John. You don't want to get on his bad side. I wouldn't want to be on any side of him. Cool, putting Fry back into the ring. I think that's the best thing to ever happen to Fry. <laughs> it's a little safer in there. Just a little. Lawless things to hurt you, but except there's still one big thing in there that can hurt you. Oh! oh. Fry now on the offensive. Trying to take out the legs of Cruel. This is where Fry has got to get him. He's got to use his speed. You've got to get him down and take him apart. Chopping that elbow off the second rope. Cover. Then a kick out. He tried to wrench it in there too to keep him down. You've got to do everything in your power to keep Cruel down. John's getting it from everyone. Huh. 
Oh, he got caught. Fry might be going for a ride. Fry breaks it. Thorne writes. I don't think they're having any effect. Oh. He's asking for another chop. These chops having no effect on the monster. Uh oh, uh oh. I think it's just making him the angry. The gloves oh. are off. The gloves are off. The straps are down. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fry just got hit by a frying pan. My chest hurts. That'll make your heart skip a beat. I'll give Fry this. His chops. Look at Cruel's chest. Yeah, and his and Fry's chops are solid. I've been on the receiving end of a few of them. Oh, dropping Fry in the back of his head. Cruel going to another gear, but a cut line. Both men down. Fry Daddy hitting a cut line virtually out of nowhere. And this is where he's got the advantage right now. It's hard to kick out of the cut line. Trying to crawl over for a cover. Can Fry get the cover? Oh. oh. Oh my God. Look at that side eye. It's a good thing Fry's wearing dark trunks. Oh. Fry's got a butt. Go for a choke slam. Gets out of it. Drop kick. Oh. Cool into the ref. Ref is down. Oh, Fry with the chair and it did nothing. He just hit Cool. Look at the chair. Look at the chair. Look at Fry's oh, face. What, what, did, what did Fry do? Fry just threw the chair at Cruel. It fell down. The ref's Let's called for the bell. Get out of there now. <laughs> it's a smart move. Getting out of the ring immediately. Fry just pulled an Eddie Guerrero. Tricking the ref into thinking that Cruel hit him with the chair. And he's so proud of himself. Sir, sir, if I could just. Uh, it, it's, it's a shame it had to go down like that. I'm trying to conduct some business here. If we could all just keep it down. Really, I'm telling you this is bad. It's not, it's going to be fine. Sir, sir, if I may, fantastic effort. I, I'm sorry it ended that way. Okay, I've got a level with you in a second. This is a terrible idea. It's not a terrible idea. Look, man. You're a winner. We're winners. Think about what we could do together. Your merch table over there. The action figures. Think how cool they would look with Damage Inc. logos on them. I can do it. I can do it. Look. I'm, I'm going to approach the ring if that's all right. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it. He's he's gonna sign with us. You can go with us. You can come with us. And we can be we can be unstoppable. These people can say anything to us. With you, the damage and the whole the whole gang, we'd be amazing. Look, hold, hold on. It's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be fine. There you go. That's good teamwork. It's good for business. It's good for business. Do the right thing, cool. 
do the right thing. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. See? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Caleb Scott just got choke slammed by Cruel. I don't think that went the way Caleb Scott was hoping for. No, I don't think so. It looks like Cruel gave them the business, Bob. I, I don't think the father figure is going to be happy about that. Well, he can take it up with Cruel then. I'm sure he won't. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Cool losing the match because of Fry Daddy basically cheating. And then giving damaging the business. Gotta get in the business. At last month's show, Mike Payne was in a match against the warden. When Mike was about to use the chair on the warden. But it was taken away by the referee when the warden then used his motorcycle helmet to get the pin over Mike Payne, which has now created this matchup to where fans will bring the weapons. Anything is legal. Mike Payne on his way to the ring, and you need to see extra precaution taken to protect the ring from this because. There's no telling not only what the fans brought, but what these two men will do to one another. Is that a door? That's a door. Oh, my Lord. I saw a faucet from a sink. So, please tell me they're not going to throw everything out there, including the kitchen sink. Oh, well, he just threw something. Free not food. Oh. Giving them, he thinks that everyone there is low on sodium. <laughs> God. And if you've never seen Mike Payne in a match like this before, uh, it, it can be brutal. It will be brutal. You are going to see something. And this man right here wants to become the new monster. He wants to be, he claims he's the warden of WrestleMerica. He wants to be the new monster of WrestleMerica too. To do that, you've got to dethrone the current monster. Even the ref saying a prayer before ringing the bell. Can you blame him? If you were ever going to say, don't try this at home, I think this is now the perfect time to say, don't try this at home. Oh, oh. Mike just broke Warren's glasses. And this isn't going to be technical. This isn't going to be a match. This isn't going to be Hart and Michaels. This is going to be a fight. Oh, a fight to the finish right here. There's no telling what can happen. Like oh. you said, there's weapons all across the building. The fans brought. And we're already having bowling balls thrown at each other from each other. And Mike called out to the fans before oh. this match and said, I want to see how sick you fans can be. They're, they're, they can be pretty sick. Uh, what? Oh. Four. Jeez. Jack Nicholas, eat your heart out. Oh. We're close enough to Augusta. That's true. That's true. The Masters just happened. Oh. We're happy when you need him. Is, is that a tote? full of Christmas paper wrapping. Oh my goodness. That's the worst weapon ever. You would know. Oh. Uh, yeah, I know. He's sweeping away. Oh, look, he's cleaning. He's taking out the trash. He has the first Sarah seen a broom in his hands. <laughs> oh my God. A kendo stick. Okay, everyone likes a good old kendo stick. Oh! oh. Did you see it bend? Well, you want to be the monster, you got to go through the monster. And he can be very hard. Oh, somewhere Scotty Beach is smiling, I see a pool noodle. Oh my god. Oh, now Ward has a stick. 
Oh, now choking him with it. That's how you do it. And the only thing the ref is there to do is to either get a submission or count a three. Oh. Now Warden looking to go yard. Whoa. Oh, does, um, does he got him? Or um, I think he's got him. Uh, yeah. Warren's not used to that. Oh, <laughs> dropping him on the apron. Guy's got a kendo stick again. Oh, choking the man with it. Again, nothing the ref could do but just ask if he wants to quit. Well, I mean. Both these guys wanted this type of match. And this is just brutality at its worst. And we haven't even seen half the stuff that the fans brought. Oh. Oh, what's he got planned here? This can't be good. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, no. No. That's, that's a cheese grater. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I'll never see cheese the same way again. Oh. Oh, baking sheets now. Do I see fan with skewers? What? <laughs> Does he got the baker's dozen? Betty Crocker, eat your heart out. Oh. God, look at that. And those are the good ones, too. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, my God! He looks like one of them wind-up oh. bears that clap oh. the cymbals. <laughs> Just brutal. A pin attempt. The warden kicking out at two. Goodness gracious. There's a keyboard. Oh my. I hope it's not a good one. <laughs> he doesn't need work on his typing, well, does he? I wouldn't break that. You might need it after this match. Right? Oh, the low blow. Ward busts it up, bleeding from the mouth. Can you blame them? Probably from one of those. Probably from one of those many shots from the baking sheets. Oh, look out, camera guy. <laughs> camera guy getting hit by the crutch. Hey, shouldn't have been standing there. Probably should move around a little, little bit more. No one is safe in this kind of match. <laughs> it never is. Now what? Oh, there's, there's the faucet. The fa He's got a faucet? That's one of the good ones. Oh, man. He's got the, the detachable sprayer. Oh, now choking him with it. Guys, that's one use for it. It's getting him good. Still nothing. Ref there making sure he doesn't want to give up. And this is a new side of the ward. We've never seen this side of the ward before. So Warden really tried to prove himself that he can hang with someone like Mike Payne. Yeah, now Warden up on Brett's rope. Oh. oh! Well, it's like what we said earlier. It's like he wants to be... He wants to be the new monster. To be that, he's got to be the monster. He's got to beat the monster. A couple months ago, he made a claim that this was his ring. 
And that's what caused Mike to come out. Oh, now it's Mike's turn with the cheese grater to the face. Oh, my God. God dang it. Now what does Warden have in mind? There's plenty of tools. Oh. What is that? That's a mailbox. A mailbox? It's too late at night for deliveries. Oh, now, now Mike is busted open. And he's just making it worse by just wrenching it in there. Make sure the flag is up. Oh. Mike has mail. Ooh, ooh. Oh. His arm stuffed to that mailbox, now hitting the mailbox for that golf club. That is, I hope he's got his um, tetanus shots. Oh, Mike. Barely kicking out a two. Mm. Now Warden again going out. Oh, oh he's got the door. He's On oh, it's it's spray painted with a message to Warden. Oh. Kicking fans at ringside out of their chairs. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. What, what does Morton have in mind here? Well, with this match, anything can happen. He's probably got nefarious intent in mind. Did he just bite his forehead? He did. Oh, and he just spit. Oh, my God. Wood now setting up the door on those chairs. Mike's starting to fight back now, or trying to fight back. Well, the loss of blood isn't helpful either. Oh, and now with that mailbox. Oh. Now, where's Mike going? I'm too afraid to even ask where he's going. Looking for someone underneath the ring. Oh, he's got a lighter. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. What the hell is Mike about to do? Mm. No. No. What? Mike, no. Mike, Mike is, he just set the door on fire. That door is on no, fire. No, no. Oh, oh no. a choke slam to Warden into the flaming door. Oh my God. Warden's hair was on fire. Oh, oh my God. Jeez. Oh, just, oh. Oh my God! Putting worried through a flaming door. You can see the burn marks on his shirt. Oh. 
We told you fans in the beginning that this match would be brutal and oh, a low blow. Now Ward back up. What else can these two do to each other? I, they've thrown everything at each other. You've had doors, you've had mailboxes, you've had the sink. Mike is a bloody mess. Warden back out now onto the floor. He's looking for something. Time for some typing lessons. He's already checked the mail. Now it's time to check his email. Oh! Oh! Some important keys coming out oh. of there. Oh my God! Mike's probably wishing he could alt F4 out of this match. Yes, a computer joke. Will you stop? I'm afraid to ask what's in the bag. But if history tells us anything, I think we know what it is. It's thumbtacks. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Ugh. First fire, now thumbtacks. No, 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 oh! Mike Payne dropped on the tax, stacked up at cover one, two, and Mike Payne kicked out. Sheer will had him kick out of that. He's gonna feel this for a couple of days, Bob. He's still laying on them. I mean, it's, it's sometimes more painful to just move oh. around. Wood's got brass knucks. Uh-oh. Those are Mike's brass knucks. They're his now. The thumbtacks falling out of the back of Mike. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! Uh -oh. oh, Mike just, Mike just took the knucks. Away from Warden. Oh, the heart punch. Oh. The heart punch with those brass knuckles. That's got to do it. That's got to be it. One, two, three. There we go. Mercifully, this match is over. I... Those are some sick individuals out there. And then there's these two right here are just sick as well. God, just brutality. Look at, look at the mess. Look at the carnage. Look what they went through. Just, it looks like a train wreck out here. God, oh, oh, God. Be careful. Referees, be careful. Both men showing the effects of this battle. Mike showing shades of the real monster that he could be. The monster he is. But both mids showed up willing, ready, and able to do whatever it took to each other to come away with the victory. Ward was trying to stake his claim here at WrestleMerica. But Mike Payne letting the warden know that it's not his time yet, that this is still Mike Payne's yard. And he proved it tonight. Mike Payne, victorious here, cruel at 10, but honestly, at what cost? And it's now time 
for the Liberty Championship to be on the line. You gotta do it with me, Bob. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. You're not doing it. Jacob Johnson losing the Liberty title to J-Rod a couple of months ago in a fatal four-way. J-Rod was, he was very insent on not allowing Jacob to have a rematch. Yes. But, unfortunately for J-Rod, Jacob gets a rematch clause. True. And this is it right here. So Jacob getting his rematch here tonight against J-Rod. Oh, that's a classic champion. J-Rod made his return a couple months ago here to Wrestle America. And then his first night back winning that Liberty Championship. And if you're not familiar with the rules of a Liberty Championship match, 10 minute time limit. If the match ends in a draw, for any reason, the fans determine the winner. And there's no champion's advantage. No. So J-Rod gets counted out or disqualified. He loses the championship. And ever since he's been back, he just like how his interest was, he was showing his ass. And also the Liberty Championship must be defended at every WrestleMania show. If the champion, for whatever reason, can't defend the title, he'll be stripped of it. Oh, the fans on inside do not like J-Rod. No, I mean, not many people do like J-Rod. This guy apparently doesn't either. I'm still recovering from the last match. Matter of fact, what is that? I heard him ask for medics back there. We'll see if we can figure out what's going on back there, but. J-Rod is definitely full of himself. Maybe something else. He's definitely full of himself. J-Rod showing a, a new attitude since returning. They love Jacob, I will give them that. Jacob Johnson actually coming off an appearance at Reality of Wrestling, Booker T's promotion. All right. Getting to be a part of their annual rumble there. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh! <laughs> Maybe less talking, J-Rod, a little bit more fighting. Yes. <laughs> oh! Jacob coming with the energy. Now Jacob up in the corner. Rainy punches down. Oh, but J-Rod got a hold of him. Oh, and a power bomb. Dropping Jacob on the back of his head. Cover now. One. And a quick kick out. And I'll, I'll give this to J-Rod. If he's smart, he's going to take advantage and try to get this match done as fast as he can because he has not endeared himself to any of these fans. And if it goes to the time limit, I don't think they're going to side with him. You're on the clock, bub. <laughs> don't get paid by the hour here. No. Woo. Shot to the chest of Jacob Johnson. Almost to the heart. 
Oh! And a runny bulldog. Oh, look at that nonchalant cover with the boot on the chest and a quick kick out there by Jacob. Just, it shows the personality that we're dealing with. It shows that J-Rod is not the kind of guy that he should be. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about the fans. He doesn't care about anything but himself. And he just wants to crawl under everyone's skin about this. And you just see him right there taking, taking Jacob down. On the scissor kick. The cover. Oh. Oh. J Rock going after the eyes. Dropping Jacob and oh had a chance to go for the cover but pulled up the head of, of Jacob Johnson. Oh and a DDT. Oh. Cover again. And J-Rod pulling up the head of Jacob breaking his own pin. It's you know, that's oh. Definitely cocky on his end, like <laughs> sending a message, but at the same time, it's like, why? Like, you know, get the pin, finish him. You're under a time crunch and you're, you're just doing that. Oh, swing and a miss with a chair. Boot to the midsection. Oh, swing reversal. Ooh. Almost went to the post and a oh, double clothesline. Both men hitting that hardwood floor, too. That's not good. And we're at a five count right now. The ref's count is up to seven. Yeah, they both need to get in there. Count is eight. Count is a nine. Oh, the ref counted ten. Uh-oh. Hold on a second there, J-Ron. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Well, we did. Okay, so tonight you fans are going to decide who wins this match. Alright? They get to decide, yes.
It ended in a double count out to the fans. Get to vote for who the winner is. And they vote for Jacob Johnson, who has reclaimed the Liberty Championship. To say J-Rod is not happy is an understatement. is issued best two out of three we'll see if Jacob accepts the challenge it is now time for our main event a triple threat match for the Wrestle America Championship Whoa. this is gonna be good CTQ's first to come out he earned this way into this matchup last month by defeating the champion Dominic stuck in a non-title match. Mm. CT says that if he's going to be in Russell America, it's going to be for the gold. And you know what? I mean, that's his prerogative. That's what he wants to go for. That's what he's going to go for. Can't blame him on that. And now the, the nine tenths champion. He's been on tour with this belt after stealing it from Dominic Stuckey. He attacked the man in the parking lot after barely losing the match against Dominic Stuckey and then stealing the belt from him and driving off with it. He's gone to other promotions carrying the belt. He's gone on vacations with the belt. I saw him at the beach the other day with it. Yeah. That's just crazy. Walking around telling people he was the champion, and people I ask him, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> but he may not have the belt, but he is the Wrestle America champion, Dominic Stuckey. He is definitely Mr. Wrestle America, the guy that represents Wrestle America the best. Your champion. And he's got a tall order in this match. Two very combative and strong individuals in this match that he's got to go against just to retain the championship. Mr. Russell America, Dominic Stuckey. This match is going to be intense. Intense is just a small word for it. It's going to be insanely intense. It's insane action. CB having to surrender the title. Each individual has a chance to win this. It's a triple threat match. First fall to a finish. Dominique doesn't have to even be involved in the decision. And also with a triple threat, you have to keep in mind 
There's no count outs or disqualifications in a triple threat. There's the bell. We are underway. Oh, and quickly a pounce to CB from CT. I don't think CT liked the comments from CB earlier tonight. There's not a lot of things that CT likes from anyone. I don't think he likes himself. Oh, quickly was going for Yurinagi, but Dominique getting out of it back and forth. Oh, and there's the Yurinagi. Now trash talking. CT might be trying to do this early, go for the pounce, but look at CB grabbing the foot. Trying to drag him out of the ring. And Dominique taking advantage. Another splash in the brain. Well, CB trying to get involved, but Dominique, another splash. A running bulldog now to CT. Dominique charging in, gets sidestepped by CB, gets the knees up. Oh, delayed suplex, dropping Suave. Suave rolling out of the ring. Dominique up and over the top of the lot to the apron. Oh, and a flying knee, wiping out keys. This is going a mile a minute. These guys know they've got to take every advantage they can. I can barely keep up with what's going on. Dominique now. Dominique climbing up to the top rope. What does he have in mind here? Oh, the double axe handle. The Suave out onto the floor. Dom, the true champion right now, standing in the ring. Oh. Keys swiping out Stucky and dropping him on the apron. CT is all business. That guy has the most serious attitude I've ever seen. He's mentally focused, and it's to get gold and make a lot of money. He doesn't care who's in the way. It doesn't matter who your name is or what you are. He's going to fight you and beat you. Oh! Drop kick to CT into the corner. CB sidestepping Dominique and a kick into Dominique of his own. Suave now on keys in the corner. Just chop after chop. Stucky now back. Suave with the rights to Dominique. Oh, ducking the clothesline. And Keys takes out Stucky. Oh. Suave wiping out both men. Keys and Stucky onto the outside. Suave up and over the top rope. Wiping both men out. This is insane. One minute you're up, one minute you're down. It's like you just, I can't keep up. These guys are going all out. And that's for the Wrestle America Championship. Suave off the top rope. Stucky rolled out of the way and a huge clothesline to Suave from Keys. Stucky off the ropes. Oh, gets caught by Keys. Oh. Stucky. 
Stucky getting back to his feet. Keys just picks him up in a body slam. Center of the ring. And this is just shades of what happened last month when that's how CT beat him. Just wore him down. And another slam center of the ring. You can hear Stucky calling out pain. Suave breaking up the pin. Trying to call a truce now. You just <laughs> broke up the pin. You broke up the pin and you're calling a truce. I don't know if this is very smart. That's Suave's part. Oh, Keys was going for a roll up and a kick out of two. Oh no. my God! Did you see the height? <laughs> he was up there. He was as high as the stars on his pants. Now it's Suave's turn to get oh. picked apart by Cutthroat CT Keys. Yeah, he is not happy. He is angry. Uh oh. oh. Now using Suave as a weapon on Stucky. I mean, it makes the most sense. Wear out both guys. Well, now he's got both men stacked on each other. One, two. Oh. And both men had to kick out. God, that would have been a definitive ending right there. Do not get on the bad side of CT Keys. Oh, you can hear Tom just screaming out that boot on his head. The ref pretty much defenseless in a match like this. And CT letting him know it. Oh, yeah. We don't care who you are. Oh. He does not care. Keys is just picking his spots at this point. Oh, a chop to Suave. Yes. That'll knock him into next week. Keys perching. Stucky on the top rope. Looks like he's trying to go for a suplex, but now Suave uh -oh. intervening. What's Suave going to do now? Oh. Suave's got Keys. Keys fights out of it. Oh. Oh. He's got Keys. He's got Suave Perch. Oh, look at Stucky. What? Stucky with the neck breaker. Forcing Keys into basically oh, cover attempt to kick out. Basically forced Suave into like a DDT almost. Now Crawl over, cover to Suave. Suave kicks out. Let's take another look at that. Oh. <laughs> Dom just flying from the heavens. Wiping out both men. This is great. This is excitement right here, buddy. This is for the Wrestle America Championship. Oh, what a chop. And again. Shoot keys across reversal. Oh. Monkey flipping Whoa. to Suave. And he got caught by Keys. Her Karana taking down Keys. Suave now. Boot to the midsection. Hooks in. Plants Stucky. This be at one, two. Oh, and a kick out at two. <laughs> Suave almost had it. Now Keys, boots in the midsection. Reversal by Suave. Oh, Suave with a suplex to Keys. One, two, Keys kicks out. Stucky back up, super kick. Dragon Suave back into the center of the ring cover. 
and another kick out. Try to go for a reversal. Oh! Sucky planted and a kick out. What a match. Your main event <laughs> by Triple Threat for the West America Championship here at Cool It's Hit. This is insane. This is just great. I love it. All three men giving it everything they got. They're leaving nothing on the table. It's anyone's guess who can win. Oh, Stucky with a headbutt to the chest. Now with those rights off the rope. Went for a shoulder tackle. A forearm now. Keys refused to go down. Swing and a miss with the clothesline. Oh, Stucky plants Keys. This might be over. And Keys kicks out. So many near falls. Everyone is giving it everything they've got because they know it is for the top title in this company, the Wrestle America Championship. And Dominic Silky is not wanting to let go of that. It doesn't matter if you're CB, you're CT, he's going to kick your butt and keep his championship. Oh, sharpshooter now. Will Keys give up? Suave's back up. Misses with the boot. Stucky ducked it. Stucky's got Suave up. AA to Suave. Oh, and a pounce for Keys. It might be over. One, two. Stucky kicked out. Oh God. <laughs> This is good. This is great. Oh. Oh, no. We had to know he was going to go for it at some point. Keys is getting a little frustrated. Now the chain to the back of the head. Oh. Suave throws keys to the post. That's Suave, two. Oh, Stucky still kicked out. Oh, oh, oh. Stucky somehow kicked out. Suave can't believe it. I can't believe it. Like a little vulture sweeping in for the kill just to get it. And he couldn't do it. Suave trying to be the ultimate opportunist. But Stucky. Still has to fight in him. Stucky back perched on that top rope. Suave. Climbing up. Stucky fighting off Suave. Stucky up with that top rope. Tom Bomb. Cover to Suave. One, two, three. Stucky. Still your Wrestle America champion. And the champion will be back in possession of the Wrestle America Championship title belt. Just some highlights of this one. The power of keys to catch Suave and Suave to be able to turn it the way he did. And then dropping Stucky. 
There were several times in this match where it looked like it was over. This being one of them. Just an incredible match. These three men just gave us. You saw Keys there trying to basically take a shortcut with that chain. Stucky would be able to kick out. But it would be the Dom Bomb to end it. Dominic Stucky, still your Wrestle America champion. What a battle. And I understand that Stucky has laid out a special challenge that we'll talk more about next month. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Cool Intent. Good night, everybody.